hello guys welcome back to another video in the previous video we uh, saw how we can exploit xql vulnerabilities which are one of the very famous and very lethal type of vulnerabilities which are present in web applications so now in this video we are going to explore another such uh, very uh, very much famous and very much exploited vulnerabilities uh, which are xss vulnerabilities so like in the previous video we are going to divide this thing into two parts so first will be the questions and then we will see how we can prevent xss vulnerabilities so let's first start with the first question which is what is xss vulnerability so xss stands for cross site scripting so what this uh, vulnerability basically does is it allows the attacker to inject uh, javascript code in the victim's browser and allows it to execute on it so uh, this is uh, this uh, type of vulnerability is uh, very uh, common in uh, web applications uh, and uh, this can be fixed very easily there are basically two types of xss vulnerabilities which are uh, mainly found in web applications so the first type is reflected xss so in reflected xss vulnerabilities uh, the injected code is executed on the victim's browser and there is no involvement of the server in this uh, type of uh, injection so uh, it's uh, totally on the client side so let's say uh, you are uh, in a, a network and the victim is also on the same network and uh, you try to be uh, the man in the middle and then you somehow manage to inject uh, the code inside the victim's browser then this type uh, will be called as reflective xss so similarly there is another type which is stored xss so store xss is more dangerous as compared to reflected xss because in this type of uh, vulnerability the the injected code is stored on that uh, on the server and it gets executed every time anyone uh, opens that page so it can be anyone on any other network uh, as soon as the victim tries to open that page that particular javascript code will run and uh, we can achieve a ta our target uh, like that so the next question is uh, what are the prerequisites to identify xss vulnerabilities so you just need to have some basic knowledge of html and css in order to identify these type of vulnerabilities uh, nothing else is uh, needed now so the next thing is how to find and exploit xss vulnerabilities so this is going to be the main part of our video so let's see how we can uh, find and exploit xss vulnerabilities so we are going to see it in our meta exploit machine so for this type of vulnerabilities uh, we are going to use the dbwa which stands for dam vulnerable web application so the default username and password for dbwa is admin and password so the username is admin and the password is password so as soon as i click on login as you can see now i have logged into the dbwa so before starting with xss uh, vulnerabilities we need to do one thing which is set the dbwa security to low it's uh, set to high or by default so this is uh, basically this will uh, allow us to find out uh, xss vulnerabilities if it is set on high uh, then xss vulnerabilities cannot be exploited in the damn vulnerable web application or dbwa so we have already set it to low so let's uh, see both the type of xss vulnerabilities one by one so the first uh, we are going to see reflected cross site scripting so this type of vulnerability uh, is uh, executed on the client side only it has nothing to do with the server so we can uh, basically try to inject code inside this particular text box which will be a javascript code so we can inject anything uh, it depends on our knowledge of javascript and what you want to achieve through that script so here we are going to try to inject uh, a simple script which will execute uh, a message called hello on the browser screen so as soon as i click on submit this script will run which will be injected inside the html of the web application and it will run and we will see a message as hello on the screen so as soon as i click on uh, submit as you can see this uh, there is a message which is printing on the screen which is hello 
So this message will be printed as soon as the code is injected inside the text box. So this means that uh, this particular uh, text field in the web application is uh, prone to uh, reflected XSS vulnerabilities. So now let's see the other type of uh, XSS vulnerability which is stored XSS vulnerability. So basically in this type of uh, stored XSS vulnerabilities, uh, the the data which we enter or the code we, which we inject here in the page is stored in the page forever. So uh, whenever someone opens that particular page, then he or she uh, will uh, inject uh, will be injected with that code. Uh, that person browser will be injected with that code and it will be executed on their browser. So it will happen as many times as someone opens this uh, website and this type of vulnerability is uh, more dangerous than reflected XSS. So let's see how we can exploit it. So in name I will just enter anything like test and here I will enter the same JavaScript code which I entered there. This will basically print that same basic message there here. Which will be hello. And then I will put the closing tag for the script. So as soon as I click on sign guest book, this entry will be added here. And as soon as uh, someone uh, tries to open this page, that particular JavaScript code will be executed on that person's browser. So uh, it can be anyone who uh, opens this web application and this particular page. So no matter what, this code will be executed once this page is opened on anyone's browser. So let's see. So I will click on sign guestbook and as you can see, it has been executed. So I will click on OK. okay. And now let's try to uh, go to some other page and then come back here and see if it uh, gets uh, executed again. So I'm going to this or SQL injection here and now let's come here back and see if it's actually working or not. So as you can see, I came back to the page and it still executes it again. And this is how it works. So basically this code is now uh, where uh, with this code which we entered which is the javascript code uh, now it is stored on the server ma server machine and uh, it will be executed every time this page is uh, loaded so that is how we can find and exploit javascript uh, uh, javascript xss vulnerabilities so the next thing here is to how to fix and prevent xss vulnerabilities so there are two basic methods to prevent xss vulnerabilities so these are the two methods so the first method is data validation so uh, the input uh, data is taken through get and post requests uh, in the web application so we can specify a condition like if uh, the text field is meant to enter, enter enter an integer value so the code will basically check and validate that that, that the data which is entered is integer only so this will uh, eliminate the possibility of uh, uh, injecting javascript code in text fields to some extent and uh, uh, if we uh, talk about the code in html then encoding can help in order to avoid xss vulnerabilities so we can try to encode these particular uh, uh, things like the uh, opening tag and the closing tag uh, with these particular codes so these enco encodings will uh, prevent the execution of uh, uh, that type of uh, we will uh, that type of uh, xss uh, vulnerabilities so this is how xss vulnerability can be uh, prevented and uh, that was it for this video in the next video we are going to see uh, another uh, very famous uh, uh, exploitation framework which is beef uh, beef is basically a browser exploitation framework and uh, we are going to see it uh, in full detail from installation to how we can use uh, beef in order to uh, hook uh, browsers and exploit them. It will also include XSS vulnerabilities in action. So that was it for this video. Thanks for watching.